guys. This is a video I've been wanting to make for a while now. I've uh, quit triathlon a few months ago and I have quite a bit of history with it. I have seven years experience in triathlon, almost 10 years experience. I was you know, three years away from having that, that 10 year marker. Um, and it's all I did. It was my life. It was my identity. I identified as a triathlete. When I woke up, I read triathlon news. I subscribed to all the magazines. I watched all the videos. I created playlists on YouTube and watched them over and over and over again. I even made several viral videos that had to do with triathlon, like motivational pump-up videos. I visualized it. I, I wrote all my goals for triathlon. It was my life, and I went all in on triathlon. I bought a $5,000 bike. I paid thousands of dollars in coaching. I just wanted to be the best I could be. And uh, the best I could be was what I experienced. I experienced being at my all-time fittest. I experienced winning races. I experienced earning prize money from it. I experienced showing up at races and people saying, like, oh, Ted's here. Ted's going to win. And... Like just being known for the tri tri that triathlete guy, but it wasn't always that way. You know that was just near the end, near near the end of those seven years when I was like at my peak. Uh, but when I first started out, I was nobody. I was absolutely nobody. Just like most people when they start a sport, um, I didn't know how to you know ride the arrow bars. It was really like shaky. I didn't even know how to swim. I was like putting my hands right in front of my head when I was swimming. I didn't know anything. All I knew how to do was run decently because I grew up playing soccer. But Anyways, I've raced everything in triathlon from sprint distance all the way up to Ironman, and uh, I found the best, um, I brought the best out of myself, I think, in probably the, uh, the Olympic and half Ironman distances, but uh, yeah, it's all over now, it's all done, it's all done. Um, strange to think, but... I'm stoked that I no longer am involved with triathlon. And I'm going to give you four reasons why I quit. The first reason was that is that uh, I'd rather create than compete. I want to focus on creation. I want to focus on expressing myself creatively. I want to focus on involving myself in an area where there, is, where there are no winners and losers. There are no winners and losers in creating film. There are no winners and losers in um, expressing yourself through vlogging. There are no winners and losers in... Um, in, in making cool content. You know, you just make cool content, you throw it out there, and whoever wants it comes and gets it. That's pretty much what filmmaking is about for me. But triathlon was all about, I'm going to show up at this race, and I'm going to win. And when you want to win, then you also want people to lose. You need people to lose for yourself to win. So if you really want people to win, then you also need people to lose. And I didn't like that mentality. When I was training with my homies, I loved swimming, biking, and running with them, getting fitter together. And then came come race day, it's like, damn, bro, like, I'm going to beat you. Or, damn, bro, you're going to beat me. Like, it's, it's just, it's like I'm going to get the, you know, 10,000 bot, or you're going to get, like, the $2,000, and I'm not, or I'm going to get the $1,000, and you're not. Like, it's just, it's cutthroat, you know? Um, so in triathlon, people are very end goal orientated. Like, they train to win the race. Whereas with filming and videography, it's like I'm making the video and I'm really enjoying making the video and I edit it, I enjoy the editing and when I upload it, I'm like, whew, I'm done, I have relief. It's like I don't even care what people think once I upload the video because I'm really happy with it, I'm really impressed by my video. But in triathlon, especially when you get sponsorships and things like that, then you really need to try and impress the sponsors. People care about the numbers in, in triathlon a lot. People care about who wins, who loses, things like that. And there can only be one winner, you know? The whole race, everyone trains months and months or years and years for this one race and there's only one winner. There's only one winner. Um, and you, you got to travel so far, put so many hours in, not just the training, but to the traveling and putting all this money and time and energy into traveling just to get to the starting line. Hopefully you're fresh. Hopefully your tire doesn't pop. And there's just so, and hopefully you, know, hopefully you don't get a mechanical, like your brakes don't work or your brakes work or your battery doesn't run out in your power meter or your brakes don't work. Power charger actually works when you're trying to get your shifters working and there's just so many little things in triathlon that can go wrong that so many little things in triathlon that need to go right for you to win and I just I just didn't want any part of that anymore I didn't want to um, put all my energy into training just for the purpose of beating other people and then also putting all the time and energy into training so that I could show up at the race and get a mechanical error or whatever get the flat tire or something like that so I just stop. I don't want to compete anymore. I want everyone to win. I want to create content rather than compete with people. That's the first reason. The second reason is that I just wanted more time and energy to do other things. And the main thing I wanted to do was make videos. I remember the last race I did, the gun went off. I was just standing there in the start line. And I was like, I don't even want to do this, man. I don't even want to do this. I just cruised through the swim. 
Um, got on the bike. It was raining. I was like, oh my god. As I'm biking, I was like, I get a bike for another like this is like a half Ironman. I was like, I get a bike for another like two and a half hours. Like I'd rather be at home making videos right now. I'd rather be at home talking with fans on Instagram or talking with people on Snapchat. I'd rather be making content, making cool videos. But I have to go ride my bike for another two and a half hours. Then I gotta get up and run. And it's like, I don't even like biking, bro. Like I love swimming and I love running, but I don't like biking. I only biked so I could do triathlon, so I could perform well in the in the run, really and to see how well I could improve as a swimmer. So that's that. I just wanted to do other things. I wanted more energy and time to do other things in life. And triathlon was just, I'd already accomplished my goals. I'd already won some races. Check that off the list. So that's the second reason. I just wanted other things. Um, third reason why I wanted to quit was because uh, it's just not minimal. You know, you got to need swim equipment, you need biking equipment, you need running equipment, you need transition equipment. There's a lot to triathlon. It's a very expensive sport, and there's a lot of gear that you got to carry with you. You got to be really organized. Got to make sure it's all up to date, fresh, charged, <clears throat> not expired ingredients for your, you know, fuel and whatnot. Um, it's just a lot to it. And I like to be super minimal. Even this camera gear is a bit much, but um, I'll deal with it because I love it so much. But it's, at least it's just a camera and maybe a tripod, and that's all you got. And the fourth reason why I quit, the, really the straw that broke the camel's back, was I just got some injuries. And uh, they stacked on top of each other in a way that just totally debilitated me and prevented me from racing and performing at my best. First, I uh, broke my thumb, and then I broke my thumb again. And when you break your thumb, you can't ride your bike, and you can't really swim. All you can do is run. So during those two times that I broke my thumb back to back, I was doing a lot of running. And some races were coming up, and I wanted to be quick, I wanted to be fresh, and so... Uh, I was piling on speed work with some high volume work and uh, I just, I, over, I did way too much way too soon. I got injury in my hamstring, pulled my hammy, and it wasn't getting better with all this training I was doing. Um, I think it's just recovering like recently, like now I'm not feeling it for the first time in like months, like months, maybe even like a year now my, my hamstring's finally better now. But uh, yeah, I, just, I was just getting injured and things just weren't healing because I just kept training and training and training and training and training. And it didn't feel healthy. It didn't feel healthy. I'm like, wow, I'm injured and I keep training. Um, so I had the thumb issue, I had the hamstring issue, and then I get like this rib issue, like this lung issue. Like whenever I was swimming hard sets, like after 700 meters of swimming, um, I, my, my rib would act up and I have to hop out of the pool. And that was so, like, so, uh, I was so almost like, not, not ashamed, not embarrassed, but I was just so like deflated. When my, my, I'd hire a coach, he'd come to the pool with me and he'd be like, all right, man, you're doing a 1K time trial. We'd go to the time trial and like after 700 meters, I just had to hop out. I was like, dude, I'm done. Coach, count me out, bro. I'm, I'm out of here. I can't swim. There's so much pain here. So that wasn't good. And it just kept flaring up after the 700 meter mark during these time trials. I'm not sure what that was about, but it wasn't going away. So after you know, the thumb issue and then the rib issue and the hamstring issue, it's like, dude, it's, it's, it's over. I want to go do other things. I really think, like I said, that's the straw that broke the camel's back. But really, that's just a manifest manifestation of not wanting to do triathlon anymore. I think injuries are a manifestation of you really not wanting to do that event. I think it's like the universe saying, hey, bro, you said you wanted to go do the other thing. Maybe you want to focus on your family or focus on your parents or focus on your religion or focus on your another sport or focus on your job, your career or whatever you're your journey, another adventure, whatever, whatever it is. I don't know what it is, but the universe will give you an injury to say, you know what, go focus on that. That's really what you want to do. That's what your heart's at. Go do that. So I took it. I was like, fuck it, man. I'm injured all over. I signed up for all these races. I put all this money into these races, put all this money into coaching and this bike. I'm out. I'm pulling out completely. Um, I'm just done with it. I've experienced everything I needed to experience. I got to train with the best of the best. I got to live with the best of the best. I got to hang out with them, make videos with them. Um, like world record holder triathletes. I got to see what it was like being at the top there and I realized it's just not for me. So I'm happy to walk away from triathlon alive. You know, a lot of triathletes, not a lot, but some triathletes can even die, getting injured on the bike or get hit by a car or whatever. But uh, yeah, I'm uh, happy to be out. Don't, no plans on going back there. Like I said, I don't really even enjoy cycling. I just like biking. I mean, I like swimming and running. So. I'll still do a bit of that, but for now, dude, my focus is on filmmaking. My focus is on making cool content for you guys and just um, spreading the word about health and veganism and meditation and no fap and early nights and drug-free living and things like that, you know? So this is what I love to do and this is what I'm doing and this is why I stopped triathlon and I appreciate you watching this video. Thank you so much and 
God bless. Oh. Sophie.